اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم A number of times I have been asked that we have got a framework, we have collected our data. Now where do we start with SCM? Now SCM is Structure Equation Modeling. Now I am not going to get into much detail as to what is SCM and what it includes. In order to understand what is SCM, I am going to share a video in the description and that one can watch. Now you should watch that video before coming in and looking at this video. Now once you watch these videos, then you are in a better position to watch all the other videos related to analysis on the channel. Now these videos may be from the Smart PLS series, maybe from AMOS series or maybe from the SEM in R series. The basic steps will remain the same for any software tool that you use for structural equation modeling. Now let's say you've got a framework, you've collected the data and now you want to use SCM. You are interested maybe in using Smart PLS, Seminar or AMOS or maybe any other SCM software. The process starts with cleaning your data. Now there is a video on cleaning the data and the link will be shared in the description. Now for each of these steps, the links will be shared in the description for each of these steps. So once you've cleaned your data, the next is your measurement model assessment. That is, you want to assess the measurement model or the quality criteria of your measures. Now before you go on and do your structural model assessment that includes your hypothesis testing primarily, you have to assess whether your measures are good enough or not. So you start with reliability, then you check for validity that includes convergent validity and discriminant validity. And these are the methods for both of these validities. And finally, you report your measurement model. Now, once you have reported your measurement model, the next step is structural model assessment, whereby you are looking to assess whether the relationship between different constructs in your study is significant or not. Maybe you are testing for mediation or moderation as well. Now, this starts with checking for collinearity. The next step is you report the significance of relationship. And how do you assess the significance of relationship in SCM softwares? Primarily, this is done through bootstrapping. Now, once the bootstrapping procedure has been done, you check for path coefficient, t-statistics and p-values. Now, these p-values and t-statistics will tell you whether your hypotheses are significant or not. Normally, a p-value less than 0 0.05 will tell you, yes, the relationships between variables are significant. A value greater than 1.96, that is, in case of two-tailed test, will tell you that, yes, your hypothesis is significant and your hypothesis is substantiated. Following this, you can report your explanatory R-square and predictive power, that is, through PLS predict in seminar or smart PLS. So this is the basic or these are the basic steps for data analysis when you are interested in using data analysis for your thesis or paper writing and you are preferring structural equation modeling to do so. I hope this brief session would have cleared the steps that are involved in data analysis and results. Now the videos for each step are shared in the description. Thank you very much.